Good morning, everyone. Today, we will be discussing the differences between my theory of psychoanalysis and Carl Jung's. Good morning, Sigmund. I'm glad we could finally have this debate. I'm excited to hear what you both have to say. Me too. This is going to be an enlightening discussion. My theory posits that the unconscious mind plays a central role in a person's behavior and emotions. And my theory expands on that by incorporating the concept of the collective unconscious, which is shared by all humans and contains archetypes that serve as the basic building blocks of the psyche. That's fascinating. But how do you differentiate between the personal and the collective unconscious? The personal unconscious contains repressed or forgotten experiences unique to the individual, whereas the collective unconscious contains archetypes that are common to all humans and represent fundamental human experiences. But isn't your theory more mystical than scientific? Aren't you treading into the realm of religion? Not at all. My theories are grounded in empirical evidence and have been tested through clinical experience. And my theory has provided a framework for understanding human behavior and mental illness that has revolutionized the field of psychology. It's clear that both of your theories have had a significant impact on psychology as a whole. 